Okay, well, very uh, proud of our football team. It was a, a great win for us today. I thought our guys came ready to play. Um, without question, last week's game was physical, uh, and our guys rose to the challenge and played a physical game to get that win. And because of it, we had some guys nicked up. And uh, not for sure if they were going to play, uh, but I give our guys a lot of credit. Uh, all of them tried uh, to get ready. And, uh, you know, they wanted to go out there. Some could, some couldn't. Uh, so I give them a lot of credit. They showed a lot of courage, um, and uh, we hope to get you know those guys, other guys, back as fast as we can. As far as uh, you know, our team, I, I tip my hat to them. Uh, these guys uh, who maybe hadn't played as much rose to the challenge, uh, stepped up when their number was called from our running back room, from our receiver room, um, from our defensive back room. Uh, all those guys stepped up and did a really good job. So that's a sign of a really good football team. That's a sign of a team that cares. Uh, they came ready to play. Uh, and it was another really great win in front of a tremendous crowd that was into it and, uh, and our players feed off of it. So, uh, you know, very proud of them. And it was a really good day of football. Yeah. Jeff, you guys haven't given up a touchdown, I think, in 123 minutes. Um, what have you seen from the defense over the course of the season that's allowed them to, to, to have a stretch like this? Well, I know I've explained it a few times before, not to get technical, but uh, you know we prepared hard in the off season to get uh, a plan together uh, that we believed in. That some of it's traditional, some of it's not, uh, and we wanted to be multiple in what we did. Uh, and I just think to talk in generalities, it's about getting pressure on the quarterback. It's about uh, getting fr getting in front of receivers and not allowing free releases, uh, easy completions, uh, making the quarterback hold it a little bit longer than he would like to uh, that will allow our, our defense uh, to get in there uh, and create sacks and get after the quarterback. Uh, our linebackers have been able to play downhill. We play multiple fronts. We shift. We stem. We move. We disguise coverages. And all those things matter. You know, from a former quarterback and someone on offense, you know, I know what we don't like to see. And uh, I think right now our defense are doing a lot of those things that you don't want to see, uh, and they're doing it very well. So eventually, of course, teams will game plan and, and, and try to do things, but we do a lot. So, you know, you can prepare for a few things, but it's hard to prepare for all of it. And we have some wrinkles every week that we throw in there. So I just think uh, our coaches have done a great job. Our players, because we've worked this for so long, understand it. They know it. We get the calls in, they execute it, and we're in the right position at the right time. Um, you know, we play well. Now, I do think playing complementary football has helped us. Uh, we've gone back to pounding the ball, running the ball, controlling the clock, trying to get positive plays, trying to get up early uh, and not have turnovers and give them something easy. Uh, and when that happens, it allows your defense to tee off even more. So I just think all those things matter, the complementary football and unselfish play by some of our you know, receivers and skill guys on offense mean a lot. And eventually we're going to need to chuck it around, uh, you know, a lot as well. But right now it's it's very good complimentary football. Jeff, a lot of teams uh, are going through some kind of attrition right now with injuries or what have you. Um, did you feel comfortable? Like how, how well did you feel equipped to handle that with, with some of the depth, especially guys that you've got uh, in the transfer portal? What was the last part, especially the guys that have – Right. Well, you know what, uh, you try not to think uh, too much of what you have to get done at the very end. We just, you know, when we got here, we knew we had to go look at the transfer portal and help improve our team. And I don't think that really changes every year. You know, you analyze your team, you try to help it improve and get better. Uh, you may need some positions, you may not. But at the same time, you always need depth and you always need guys that can help you play. And if there's guys that are really good players that want to come here and play that we think can help us, we're going to add them to the mix as long as we can fit them in. Uh, and we're fair to everybody. We give everybody a fair chance. Uh, our players on the team know uh, when we bring them in, hey, if you're playing well and, and you're doing good, well, you'll be out there. If someone else comes in and is playing better, then they're going to be out there. And, and we'd like to play a lot. Uh, so in a perfect world, we can play a lot of guys. And uh, you see that on defense. We rotate a lot of guys uh, on the defensive line. We've been able to play a lot of guys in the secondary because we've had injuries. Uh, we can rotate at the linebacker position. We haven't as much, but we can. Uh, our nickel positions, we rotate that. Uh, so we have built depth, and that's through development of our team, some experience, and then the transfer portal on offense. We needed to get more depth on the offensive line. We went out and got it, and uh, they've done a good, really good job. And uh, so proud of that. We needed to get a few more receivers that to add to the mix. We did. We got 
uh, Isaac in the running back room. He helped. I mean, every little uh, thing matters. We got Jack at quarterback. Uh, uh, you know, even the tight end position um, with Joey. You know, he's athletic. We're trying to get him involved a little bit more. So I just think all those things matter. It's nothing more than selling this program and what we can do for guys and help them achieve their goals. And you got to attack it uh, every day, and it's, it can get uh, tiresome. But uh, you know. Coaching matters, but uh, you know you have to have players, and uh, you know I think we've been able to to build some depth at uh, key positions, and it's helped us. When did you know that Juar would be able to go today? And moving forward, what you saw from Isaac today, what does it do for for his confidence and your confidence? Maybe you know if you have to deal with that situation, if that's kind of a lingering thing with Juar. Well, unfortunately, we had uh, at least a handful of guys that uh, you know were nicked up at the end of the last game that. Uh, you know, we had concerns about in uh, today's age, you know, you don't want to tell the other team too much what's going on because there were some pivotal positions. Um, so we tried to get them ready as fast as we could, which really just meant rehabbing them and they didn't really practice. Uh, you know, I give Jawar a lot of credit. You know, he, he's, he's, he's nicked up in multiple spots. Uh, he tried to give it a go. Uh, uh, he went out there and played. Uh, luckily, Isaac and, and Maurice stepped in and, and kind of took it over. It didn't We didn't have to use him as much, uh, so that was great to see. Uh, so I'm proud of that uh, running back room. Uh, at the receiver position, you know, Jamari couldn't go. When, he, when can he go? I don't know. Um, you know, um, But, you know, Jaden has worked hard, and he stepped in kind of – he's been his backup all year and had the touchdown catch, caught another one down low, didn't have to throw the ball a lot. Our other receivers played hard. Uh, They've been unselfish. I'm sure they like to catch more balls. Um, and we'd like to throw more balls to them. But right now, the formula that we've used has been efficient and, and effective. And uh, so they've been very unselfish. Had some linemen that couldn't practice at all that sucked it up and, and went to the game again. Uh, and in the secondary, we were down some spots there. And uh, Storm stepped in and did well. And then he got hurt a little bit, uh, had to come in and, and, and get a shot or whatever he had to get done. And some other guys came in. So. You know, that's it's that time of the year. You know, we try not to make excuses. It's going to happen to everybody. Everybody has injuries. Uh, you get the next guy in there, and they got to go play. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of today they, they went in there and played well. Uh, Coach, since the loss of Pittsburgh, the team has really seemed to uh, find its groove, especially defensively. Uh, you know, while Ashton gets a lot of the attention, seems like everybody's making plays. Uh, T.J. Quinn made an unbelievable interception today. What makes the defense so good and so many guys seem to come in and play so well just from a pass rush standpoint, defensing the run and in the passing game? Well, believe it or not, in my opinion, uh, we first off, we've, we've coached better. Um, I didn't think I coached well in the Pittsburgh game. Um, we were too aggressive. We had turnovers. Gave the team, the, gave the other team the ball on defense. We were probably too aggressive. Uh, let them throw it over our head. So we needed to coach better. So now that we're coaching better, uh, you know, our players are executing very well. Uh, we're a little more conservative in our approach, believe it or not. Uh, but we're smarter in what we're doing. Um, while still being aggressive to a certain degree, and our guys are executing. So right now, we really haven't had to, um, you know, open the playbook, so to speak, in the passing game. We really haven't had to, you know, bring the house, so to speak, on defense. We've just kind of ran our package. Uh, so I just think uh, because of that, they understand it. They're playing well. Uh, the mixture of all the things we've done has helped us kind of throw the offense and defense off, and I just think, you know, it starts with me and our coaches and then our players have done a really good job. Jeff, I guess, you know, mentioning TJ Quinn, you know, obviously he's leading tackler, had another good game, first career interception, first career sack. I guess what's been the most impressive or exciting part about his growth this season? Well, TJ, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's eerie. He, he reminds me so much of his dad who I played with. Um, his dad was hard-nosed. He was tough hit you harder than anybody could hit you. He didn't say boo, <coughs> boo, but he worked his butt off. And, uh, you know, TJ, you know, it's probably even better. Uh, he's been a starter for us. He plays hard. He's all over the field. He'll tackle. He'll run. He'll work his tail off. You can coach him hard if you want to. You can lead him in the right way, and he'll continue to do it. He's unselfish as well. His teammates love him. So he's just a really good leader that I don't think has played a whole lot to this year, but we've thrown him in there. And, you uh, you know, he's been, uh, you know, a big difference maker for us each and every week. And, uh, 
you know, somebody that we rely on and count on to play well uh, because he helps us win. Two more. Jeff, Jack had another really efficient day today, 11 of 12. What have you liked from him after the bye week in these last couple of games? Well, I think uh, Jack uh, really did a really good job again. That's two weeks in a row. And, uh, you know, you can say, well, we didn't throw it a whole lot. We well, you know what? We, we, we've asked to, to um, change up the formula a little, a little bit and see if it's effective. Um, he's taken care of the ball. He's made good decisions. He's got us in the right play. He's got us in the right play in the run game. He's um, very smart in his approach to the game. Uh, he's distributed the ball accurately when he's had to. Um, and like I told him, you know, we're going to have some games at some point. We're going to have to air it out, and you're going to have to be efficient and throw a bunch of darts and, 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 and all those things and still not turn over very much. But uh, he's done a great job. I mean, uh, because of his experience, because of his knowledge, his intelligence, because he wants to win so bad, and the fact that he's a really good teammate, he does what we've asked him, and he's – understands this offense as good as me, if not better. Uh, and when you have that guy out there on the field, uh, it really helps. So I'm just uh, really proud of his performance. And, and really, our, all of our quarterbacks have worked hard, and we feel comfortable putting any of them in. Jeff, you, you mentioned that you guys are playing complementary football right now. But it almost feels like the offense and the defense are almost feeding off of each other. And you know, when, when good teams can, can have that, it can kind of reach another level. Do you sense that they're doing that? I think so. I mean, I think this team has really gelled together lately very well. Um, I think they understand what we're good at, what we're trying to do, what we need to improve at, and then we go out there and, and, and do what we do best and, and, and hope that it works. And if we got to adjust, then we, we, we adjust. But I just think uh, special teams has done a really good job as well. All three segments have uh, stepped up and uh, performed at a high level the last few weeks. Uh, they understand that each and every week the bar gets raised due to your performance, and you have to come out and do it again. Uh, so we challenge our guys every week, man. You can't uh, you know, rest on what happened last week or what you've done in the past. It's about what are you going to do in the future? What are you going to do today? Uh, that's what matters. That's what everyone wants to see. So don't um, doubt that you can play better than you have. Uh, if you are, you're, you're cheating yourself. So I just think we challenge our guys to raise the bar each and every week. Uh, They've stepped up to the challenge. It will continue to uh, borrow. had to be raised even higher, and we'll see just, just how high we can take it. Last one, Jeff, you've talked about Brian's toughness before. How much has he – One more time. Oh, yeah, Brian Hudson. You've oh. talked about his toughness before. How much has he shown you as a leader this season to keep going out there and, and play? So <laughs> well, with Brian, uh, you know, He's not able to practice a whole lot during the week. When we get to some walkthrough stuff, he, he kind of goes through it and takes mental reps. Uh, I mean, you'd have to amputate his leg for him not to play. I mean, that's like he he's going to go out on the field and play. Like, uh, of all the people, like, what Brian has, what well, Doug Mary has, he's going to play in the game on, on Saturday. I mean, that's just kind of what you get, which is impressive uh, because that's a hard job, playing center, making all the calls. You still got to be athletic. Uh, you still got to – get some type of mental work or film work to make sure you're ready to go. It's hard not to, you know, be able to practice as much as you like. Uh, but, you know, he's he's got experience. He's got knowledge. Uh, he's a, also a, a quiet team leader um, who um, exemplifies what that position is all about, just toughness and grit, uh, unselfishness. Uh, doesn't matter whether he's healthy or not, he's going to be on the field. So very – very proud of him, and so is our team. Our team looks up to him. He's a really good leader.